So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at that time again. Uh, this is pre-recorded just to make sure because like today was really busy. I had to drive a Lamborghini Sion in the PC version of Asphalt. And I had to do some of the crew hobbies gameplay grinding for the Mazda RX-7 FC3S, a.k.a. Ryosuke's beloved RX-7. There's just so many things happening now. I've got Asphalt to worry about. I've got Need for Speed No Limits to worry about. i got Black Lives Matter to worry about. My life. First and foremost, I should actually tell you, if you have not known already, I should probably tell you guys what new special event car it is now we've, we've been speculating us and the asphalt 9 and switch community of what um next special event would be three possible ones first is la ferrari aperta which is actually a really good car handling wise and that car would also introduce this one which i really really want the slr mclaren which is actually another really good car to be honest the second is the shira this was going to introduce, if I am correct in saying when I'm looking at the Asphalt fandom, it would introduce the Maserati Alfieri. And then the last one was going to be the Yesco. That was going to introduce the Genti Aklon and the Ferrari 812 Superfast. Plus we've also gotten dibs on the, um, on the, what was it? Uh, the Janetta G600, G60. From all the car hunts that we've been, we've been given, we also thought we were also going to be the Zenvo TS1 GT Anniversary, but we were like, well, we've already got this car. And we've gotten two unleashed with this event, two, two unleashed events with this car. So why would they bring us a special event for it? And there's something on the, on the uh, fandom that they had an exclusive decal for this car, but... I literally looked around like YouTube and fandom and I didn't know what it looked like. So I'm guessing like the, the least would probably serve its purpose, to be honest. Uh, well, somewhat. We really don't have enough cash to upgrade the thing. So that's one thing. So we thought all of these and then it was finally revealed to us early this morning. The Chiron. The Bugatti Chiron highly requested. People wanted this car for so long. People want to say save your tokens for this car. And now in about four hours time, because it's two o'clock in the morning now, and I was supposed to do this and do the crew to do two tonight, but oh well. I should say this, it is different from the mobile version because, um, I will, okay, I will read you the car that's needed from the mobile version, right? So, um, back when you guys did it, I think two years ago, right? So you guys did the Challenger, the Emmy Scat Pack, I already have that upgraded. The Alfieri had that at two star, the Corvette Grand Sport, that's okay, the J50, I had to do some updating to upgrade to baby stage 11. I already have it at um, stage nine, so it's pretty good, um, but that's all right. And then the McLaren 570S Spider, I have it at two, two 13s and two 12s, so I have to finish upgrading that, but 3750 is pretty much the maximum that they want that car at. Well, here they wanted at something 2700, if I believe, 2844. But that was back when you guys did it. Um, so that was then. Nowadays, because usually when we did um, special events for the Switch, they, they were like exactly the same as that they were on mobile and Windows. But for the Switch, for the Chiron, they're com it's going to be completely different. It's going to have a bit, maybe, I'm not sure because we don't know yet, but it might have the same condition system that was in the Senate event. I don't know. Well, I was okay with it because I pretty much did everything in each event, so that was what it is. But the cars that we need are somewhat different. The only two cars that are shared um, between the mobile event and this event are the Corvette Grand Sport and the Maserati Alfieri, which we'll get a car hunt for. So if you have it at one star, or if you don't have it yet, or if you have it at two star like I am, you'll be able to complete it and get it up to start up to the amount that you need, got to the rank that you need to complete all the events. We don't know what rank it is. Back with the mobile, 
um, back on the mobile event, right? The Maserati Alfieri needed to be twenty one ninety nine. Now that's roughly two star, three star max, three star some two three star. If I'm correct in asking, they wanted the Alfieri twenty twenty one ninety nine. So it's three star at least. I reckon they want us at max rank. So this is about a 31 something, if I'm correct or something, or 31 something, um, 31, 32. The Maserati Alfieri and the Gravette Grand Sport, Grand Sport from the old days. The Grand Sport is pretty much ready um, thanks to the other um, dual event they had. Class A needs two cars, uh, two cars, yep. Class A needs the LaFerrari, standard one, and the Pagani Waira BC, which is found right now finishing the Unleashed event. There's one more, Class S car, the Lycan Hypersport. Now this is not, as, well, it's not that difficult to upgrade. I'm already upgrading it now. I haven't upgraded it yet. It's up to stage 12. I'm at stage nine now. And we need one more car, but for that, we have to go back to Class B. The 911 GT3 RS. Now this car, originally if you were on the mobile version, this car was supposed to be for your Zenvo special event for tuning up for the tuning up update. You're supposed to have this thing. Now this is the best B class B car for our Switch version. Now for the mobile version, you probably come to grips with not yet, but we will soon come to grips with the McLaren F1 11. How monstrous I think is from someone's predetermined stats. But this has the acceleration and top speed of the Huracan, as well as the handling and nitrous efficiency of the Gravette Grand Sport. That combined together produces this. Now, it won't be as expensive to tune as a Class A six star car, because just what this thing is, is a six star thing. Um, but it's going to be pretty expensive. The thing is though that I'm glad it is, it's not gonna be expensive as the McLaren 570S because that thing was stupid expensive. So those are your six cars. This will be interesting because everything here is completely unique for this event. So we don't know what it will contain. We can't really rely on any mobile guides here. So this is basically all on us. Anyway, tonight, I'm not there. How am I there? I'm not there yet. What are we talking about? I'm down here. We've got about four hours to go. And today's feature car is, without a doubt, one of the best Class A cars in the game, other than, I think, the VLF Force 1, the McLaren 570S, which I'm almost done tuning if I have an extra 3 million, but I kind of save money now to tune up the Chiron, and the um, LaFerrari, and obviously the soon-to-come other cars that will get the Vanda, the Librium, that's, that's its... Um, real name because I really forgot off the top of my head but we will see where everything lies um, over there this is going to be something we probably have never seen before and honestly I'm kind of here for that I'm pretty ready for what this event will be the only problem is now, the only menace here now pertaining to me, um, I have to finish the La Ferrari, and I have to finish um, the Lycan, and I have to turn up the Alfieri. Those are the three that are going to hold me back a lot, cash-wise. Um, we'll just have to see where we go and get enough cash within the Alfieri car hunt and within the special event to do what we need.
gun now. like about this car is that it's a six star crazy class class a this thing is a six star class a right hold on let's actually go to the where the car is because this is really this thing's a six star class a but it's pretty much the easiest six star to upgrade like it didn't cost me that much. Like I definitely, when I did the first unleash, I had it up to 3,800. Now I'm like near max rank. I only have like a couple of, um, well, I have one more um, import part here. And I have two more here and I have two more here. So I got one, three, five I need. I'll get one from here, possibly. And I get probably two more from there. So we'll have enough to at least um, max out acceleration and handling nitro we can do in the day because that's already at max that thing has this thing is it's very very good the only problem with it is the handling holds it back as the drift speed but this thing has okay acceleration but a very big big old big nitrous tank that's why it lasts so long pretty much the, I think it's probably the longest lasting nitrous in the game I believe unless someone corrects me now it goes 236 which is slower than 239 from a VL from VLF or 242 from a McLaren but it's so manageable it's a balanced car mostly oh this Vulcan is not like me no mucking about Good night.
up. Missed it. Crap. Said no mucking about. Come on. Of course. Not thin enough. Better hand than doing it. in this case going for a uh boy I can I can handle that thing Oh that can this quick though but I guess I can handle it That one. That's dumb.
to at least make 2800. Good, I'm in front. I'm in front. Uh, this fire is a nuisance down. right Not you as well Let Hurst just went and raised quick. Where was he driving? Ah! <laughs> oh dear. All these friaries, bro. He's on my left. My right. Like him. Oh, I don't like you. Okay. 
Volcano. Volcano. That was a good job. Was you? You guys good? Thought it was a volcano. Yeah, there he is, and there he goes. Get off, bro. Luckily I'm faster than you. We don't have to worry about the lichen now. It's just you. Yep, he's gone. Miami has had enough. Hello, Mr. Ferrari. You can't escape me, bro. Oh boy. Good night. There you go. This should be my last one for the night to help things go over. Well. Time, gentlemen. 175. I will take that lead. Anyway, um, let me show you my testing of the Wira BC at Urban Blaze and at Nanjing Troll, the Zero Young Summer Leader Board at 4198. Until then, I will see you this morning for the first day of the Shiran event. <laughs>